Hamas freed 17 hostages held in Gaza, including a four-year-old American girl on Sunday, while Israel was also seen releasing prisoners on the third day of their truce. Now the transfers under this truce that started on Friday have been the first relief for captive skin since the militants attacked Israel on the 7th of October, prompting Israeli bombardments. And while the clamor to extend the truce is growing, Israeli President Isaac Herzog has not ruled out the possibility of a coalition running Gaza, including the United States, as well as the other nations. Speaking to CNN, he said, and I'm quoting here, it was to be an interim process until there will be an exiting where we are all sure that Gaza is not anymore a terror base. Now, the International Committee of the Red Cross said that it had successfully transferred 17 hostages from Gaza on Sunday. Hamas said it had handed over 13 Israelis, three Thais and one with Russian citizenship. It said that the Russian-Israeli Ron Krivoy was freed in response to the efforts of the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, and his support of the Palestinian cause. Now, Sunday's release brings the total number of freed hostages to 63 from around 240 that were taken to Gaza after the October 7th attacks by Hamas. Israel has faced mounting pressure to extend the pause, mediated by Qatar, the United States and Egypt. A source close to Hamas told news agency AFP that the Islamist movement was willing to prolong the pause. As per the source, Hamas informed the mediators that the resistance movements were willing to extend the current truce by two to four days. Now, the source further added that the resistance believes it is possible to ensure the release of 20 to 40 Israeli prisoners in that time. Under the truce, 50 hostages held by the militants are to be freed over four days in exchange for 150 Palestinian prisoners and a built-in mechanism extends it if at least 10 Israeli captives are released each day by Hamas. Now, Israeli leaders have tempered hopes of a lasting halt to this offensive. In Gaza, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, and I'm quoting here, we continue until the end, until victory. He spoke while making the first visit to Gaza by an Israeli Premier since 2005. I'm here. להגיד לחברים כאן, הלוחמים כאן, שאומרים לי את אותם הדברים, ואני חוזר ואומר את זה לכם, אזרחי ישראל. אנחנו ממשיכים עד הסוף, עד הניצחון. In the southern Gaza city of Khan Yunus, residents received a text message from Israeli forces that said that they know host hostages are being held there. The message stated that the Israeli army will neutralize anyone who has kidnapped hostages. As per CNN, Israel's war cabinet discussed the possibility of truce extension as well. Now speaking on the hostage crisis with his German counterpart, the Israeli president hit out at the Irish PM and others. He accused some world leaders, including those from Europe, of maintaining what he dubbed double standards and a level of hypocrisy.